In this video, I'm going to show how the TurtleBot 4 publishes its laser scan data as seen in RVIS 2. So first, I'm going to undock the TurtleBot 4. That's completed. Now I'm going to teleop the TurtleBot 4. Yep, so um, before I continue continue the teleoping, I'm going to launch Arvis so that we can view the laser scan data. So for this demonstration purposes, I'm going to turn off the camera data because that uses a lot of CPU resources. I'm making space to view the laser scan data. Yep, so the left is the laser scan data and the right is the teleop node. And here's our TurtleBot 4. So I'm going to teleop and show you how the laser scan data looks like in Arvis. So as you can see, there's not much latency. It's, it's pretty accurate in real time. I'm turning Oops, I collided <laughs> So one thing to note here is sometimes the front bumper is detached from the TurtleBot 4 chassis and the frontmost portion of the TurtleBot 4 should be considered as the bumper. Yeah, the bumper being there is just some software glitch, I believe. So that's it for the demonstration. I'm going to close Arvis. I'm going to kill the uh, teleop node. And now I'm going to dock it back up. 